Three, two, one. Success. This one was not about to be left out of packing up the car. <laughs> okay, I am dibsing this seat here. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing something very, very exciting. Moving to university. But this time, it's not me. It is my brother. Hello. How are you feeling? Good, excited. Last night we went out for dinner as like a last supper, like leaving meal. But also this week we went to see Khalid, thanks to Sony Music, yeah. which was awesome. And he brought out AJ Tracy. And if you think that we did not lose our shit to Ladbroke Grove, you are wrong, my friend. Um, we also, <laughs> get your tats out. Look at that bad boy. We went to Brighton and got the, well, you got the tattoo. I got it. <laughs> I just sat closely, like so close to the tattoo artist I could have literally like picked his nose. <laughs> the room was kind of small. But we are at Bournemouth University. What are you studying? Marketing. And yeah, so this is the vlog of today where we've been moving Adam in to his new student house. The new dicks. The new dicks. <laughs> so here is that. Hey. Here we are. Happy? Hey! <laughs> this is nice. An ultra low alcohol gin tonic. Oh, great. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> For the record, that was like that already. <laughs> Thinking about the insurance already, I like it. Okay, so we just arrived at Adam's new house and we actually had a kind of disaster journey. Like, we crashed the car. As in, like, we stopped at a service station just to get some snacks and go to the loo and stuff. And as we were reversing, the person behind us was also reversing and we just heard this, like, Bang. And yeah, they'd reversed into each other, which was so bad. Luckily, the damage is so, so minimal. It's absolutely fine. Like, it's it's going to be okay. No one was hurt, obviously, so it's like, it's fine. But yeah, probably the worst start to a moving day of all time. But you know, we'll work with it. Where's that? <laughs> pick, your, pick your spot. Oh, wow. You've got loads of space. How many people is this? Uh, seven. Seven. Far out. Be annoyed. Welcome to my <laughs> Change of heart. <laughs> Important decisions are being made. <laughs> Here is Le Room. I, I've been walking on a tight rope, but I don't know if it's the right rope. And now I'm stuck in the sky. You, you got your feet on the ground. You always know how to come down. The most exciting bag. <laughs> Tequila! Hey, Hi guys, welcome to my video. This is how to live as a student. This is all you need. Just this shelf here, just snacks, booze. And a good time. We have um, the door stop, which says door stop, in case there was any confusion. And chocolates for welcoming my friends. Oh, and chocolates for welcoming everyone. That's nice. Hey. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> I've been running around in my head, making excuses instead. I say what needs to be said. No, I don't want to fight. So Adam bought this um plate stacker. Yeah. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> Uni's cancelled. I'm not sure how many glasses <laughs> one person needs, but um, okay. Are you gonna jump on it? No, I'll kick it. Oh, okay, go on then. Hey, look who it is. I went downstairs to the courtyard bit following the smell of bacon sandwiches to do some recycling stuff. And then everyone was trying to give me like freshers wristbands and stuff. That was a mistake. That was, that was not a good move on my part. I was like, have you got freshers wristband? Like, have you moved in? Do you need any help? It's like, it's not me this time. <laughs> I'm a third year. <laughs> The uni shop is happening. You ready to uh, cook to survive? 
I'm ready to learn how to cook. <laughs> Smashed it. That was a full body workout to get that back here. Uh, at least one of your housemates is a bit civilized. <laughs> Meanwhile, Adam. <laughs> so we just went to Asda to get all of Adam's like kitchen essentials. It's such a funny shop to do when you first get to uni because you have to do all of like, you know, get your herbs and your spices and salt and pepper, you know, things that you will only have to buy once and will still be there like in some capacity by the end of the year. But some advice that I gave to him as someone who's had to obviously cook for myself for the last year was to buy stuff that you can cook loads of different variations with. So for example, for his like first week of meals, I was like, just get chicken breasts because with that you could do like a tomato chicken pasta, you could do chicken korma curry, um, you could do fajitas, so you just need like peppers and onions, which again you could put in the pasta. So you kind of have like things that can be used for lots of different recipes. So you're not having the same thing over and over again, but you only really have to use a small selection of ingredients. So A, they're not going off, and B, you can sort of learn to cook slowly but steadily. <laughs> so yeah, now we sort of set up the room and got all of his food and stuff, I think we are going to go and have some lunch because shopping on an empty stomach means that you just fill up the trolley way more um, and so that's kind of what we did but being around all of that food has made me absolutely starving. So we're going to go and walk into town. I haven't actually seen Bournemouth Town Centre and nor has Adam because on the open day when he came to visit he was really really sick, just like really really unwell and he thought he was going to hate the university because he was just in like feeling so grotty but actually he loved it so he hasn't actually seen the city yet so that would be quite cool and I think we're going to get some lunch. And then, time to head home. Now that is cool. Looks like we're filming a music video. <laughs> Look at this lunch. This is the last supper. Ready for uni. Love it. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Where is the pit? Ah, it suddenly appears. Wow, messed that up. Hey, that one was better. Okay, so we have finally made it home. That journey home from Bournemouth just took so freaking long. But yeah, Adam is now in Bournemouth at university with his new housemates. You could possibly tell from the video, but basically he was the first one to arrive in the house today. Um, two others arrived whilst we were like unpacking his stuff and then I think another two arrived while we were out shopping But yeah, I think it's nice to do sort of like brief introductions at first where your families are there and like spend time with them and See them off and then afterwards kind of have a proper like get to know each other session So I think that is probably what he's doing right now He's probably on the beach having a great time and yeah, it's gonna be sick It's actually very strange seeing him at university because for a while he was like absolutely not like university just isn't for me Then for a while he wanted to go and do a sports scholarship out in America Then he came to visit me and my friends in Durham and he was like actually this is quite a lot of fun And I kind of fancy this a little bit So he decided to apply to UK universities to get that sort of experience And if you don't mind, I am just going to take a quick second to brag about how incredible my brother is Not only did he get five unconditional offers for university like every single university he applied to he got an unconditional offer but also he did so well in his A levels that he got an academic excellence scholarship that is insane so yeah it's kind of just cool to see him reaping the benefits of that hard work you know and he has been looking forward to this so much you know even going there today like I felt so jealous that I'm not a fresher anymore there was such a buzz of like excitement in the air that I just wish I could, I could go back to you, that was just so much fun. In a week or a fortnight's time, I am heading back to Durham to start my third year of my degree. And I think today has actually kind of like inspired me a little bit to just like take every second and make the most of it. You know, we are so, so lucky, so, so fortunate uh, to have this opportunity. So I just wanna grab it with both hands and really, really enjoy my final year. Also, I will wrap this video up eventually, but there were actually loads of really weird, uncanny, coincidences that happened on my move-in day and my brother's move-in day. We went to see Khalid the other day, like if you remember my freshers week vlog, like me moving into university way back when, I actually went to see Khalid the day before um, I went to university, so how weird is that? And also the one thing that my brother forgot to bring, the one thing was the wire that connects his computer to the wall. When I moved into university, the one thing that I forgot was my computer wire and my family had to post it to me at university which is exactly what they're going to have to do for him now so yeah the universe works in mysterious ways i think but anyway thank you so so much for watching this video thank you to my brother for letting me film his move-in day if you are moving into university this weekend then good luck i hope you love it and if you're new here i have a whole channel full of university tips advice and experiences i vlogged my whole first two years including my move-in way back when and i will be vlogging my move-in this year as well so if for some strange reason you have decided that you enjoyed this video then you can always subscribe down below and see more from me. For now I've been Jack Edwards this has been my brother's moving day to Bournemouth University and I will see you next time. Bye bye!